Good evening and welcome to Life Groups Live. Um, I am excited to be here tonight. Joplin asked if I would come share my favorite scripture and most impactful scripture, and I'm a little nervous. Um, I tend to do a little better if I can have, you know, maybe some props or I could sing you a song or do a little dance for you, but I don't think that's what we're looking for tonight. So I'm going to try my best to just share with you my heart and um, share with you the ways that God has really just made a difference in my life through scripture. So let's look at the first scripture that I have for you guys tonight. It comes out of Roman 8, 28. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for the good, for those who are called according to his purpose. And that's Romans 8, 28. Um, I'd like to share with you tonight three different scenarios in my own life of how God has used this scripture to really just um, show how faithful he is and how true he is and how we can just count on his words. The first thing that I have for you is I have witnessed God's work good out of evil. Genesis 50, 20 says, as for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good. And this evening, this references Joseph and how, um, you know, his brothers intended to do evil to him and they did do evil to him when they sold him and then went and told their father how um, he was no longer alive. And in the Bible, this actually just shares about how this was actually evil, um, but God ended up turning it around for good. And I'd like to share with you this evening um, a testimony in my own life. When I was 17 years old, um, you know, I thought I had everything together, um, just living life up, doing the things that um, I shouldn't have did as a 17 year old, just out drinking and um, doing drugs and being promiscuous. And um, I made some bad choices that ended up really putting a damper in the relationship with my parents. And um, at a fresh 18 years of age, my parents and I decided that it would be best for me to go ahead and move out. Um, and so I did, and I ended up moving in with my boyfriend. And this, um, next year ended up just being really awful. My parents and I didn't really talk very much. Um, there wasn't a relationship. It had just on both ends kind of crumbled. And, um, a year later I ended up giving my Lord, my life to the Lord and, um, my boyfriend, my husband now, uh, also did too. And so God really just challenged me to go see what I could do to make things right with my family. And it goes back to the scripture, how God can use the things that were intended for good and bring them or for evil and bring them to good. And in this scenario, he did, you know, um, I didn't actually want to go move back in with my parents and have rules and regulations um, that I hadn't for the last year, but I really felt a tugging to go ahead and go do this. And, and so I did. And throughout the season of that time while I was there, uh, God was able to really just rekindle that relationship, um, not only with me, but uh, with my future spouse. And so it was just amazing how, you know, the little things that we can do even though maybe we made bad choices, God can still flip them around and use them for good. And so that was one of the most significant things that God did um, with this verse was just reminding me that, you know, if we're for him, he can use it all for good. Um, the second thing that I have for you this evening is that I have witnessed God work good out of what seemed insignificant. Uh, Romans 8:28 says, and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for the good. And this evening, I'd like to share with you um, a couple things that uh, God really just did to show me this that much more. Um, we were on a vacation just a few weeks ago, and uh, while traveling to Colorado, we hit 13 inches of snow that was fresh, and the roads weren't graded, and it was actually quite scary for a little while. But as we were traveling, um, we tried to get our vehicle up to the place we were staying, and it ended up sliding off into a ditch. And so, uh, the people that we had with us, the ki our kids had to go walk this half a mile, pulling luggage through the snow to get our luggage up to the cabin that we were in. And, um, you know, I just, I watched God even use little things that are kind of petty and just simple. Um, but he used it for good. You know, we couldn't have came up with those memories all by ourselves. Um, but God used it for good, even though it wasn't like just something we would have had happen. He used it for good. And so those will be things our kids will never forget. Those will be things that um, we'll have good memories of for a lifetime. 
And the third thing this evening is I've witnessed God work good out of trouble. Romans 3, 4 says, not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that the sufferings produce endurance and that endurance produces character and character produces hope. Um, It's never fun to have trouble, but it's just part of life. And so I would like to share a few of the things that I've seen God use trouble for and flip them to good in my own life. Uh, This evening, there's a story when I was younger, um, I was working at a job and I was actually pregnant with Michaela and, uh, I was about eight months along and I had found out that the manager was actually getting ready to sell the company to someone else and that I would no longer have a job. And so in my mind, I thought this was one of the worst things that could have played out because, um, you know, here we are four or five weeks from having a baby and now we're, I have no job. Um, and it was just amazing how God even used that and he was able to allow me me to um, file for unemployment and collect unemployment. And it turns out I was able to just actually have four weeks off before having a baby, uh, which ended up being a really good thing out of a situation that was kind of bad. Another story that I'd like to share is that, you know, sometimes when we raise kids, um, raising kids is just hard. There's a lot of unexpected things. Um, There's circumstances that maybe they make a bad choice and now the family has to uh, work through that bad choice or maybe a child's being treated unfair. And so you have to figure out how to maneuver through that with your children. And in my own kids' lives and through scenarios that we've dealt with, I've seen God work in such an amazing way where um, he's, he's used it to speak to our kids um, and help them to see their need for God even that much more. Um, Maybe see how God was working through it or how they were being a witness through um, a situation where kids just weren't being fair at school. And so it has been incredible to even see things out of our control, how God can use it and how he can work those things out. Um, And the last story that I'd like to share with you tonight is... um, maybe 13 years ago or so, uh, job one was in Haiti and I remember being home and I got a phone call. Um, and I could tell there was just fear in his voice when he called. And, um, he said, you know, he said, I'm not real sure if I'm going to make it home. And, uh, he's never said that before in a phone conversation. And so I've never, you know, I wasn't even sure how to react to that, but I could tell he was serious. And so hours go by and I am unsure what exactly is happening, what's going on, um, if he even made it out. But a long story short was they had gotten in the middle of a riot and, um, they were fearful for their lives. Um, but on the other end of this, he was able to call once they were safe and say that they were safe. And not only were they safe, but that God was able to use that whole situation to bring about a salvation for somebody that would have never known him. And so, um, there you just look at something that was, you know, a very tragic, very scary situation, but in the end, God was able to just use it and work through it all. And so, Anyway, uh, I've just been so thankful for these opportunities and this scripture that God has just constantly reminded me through everything, whether it was the little things or whether it was the major things in life, that he's there and that if I'll just keep my focus right and that I will just um, stay the course that he has for me, that he will indeed do what the scripture says and he will work those things for good. Um, I just want to thank you for this opportunity to share tonight with you. I hope that it's been encouraging and um, I just look forward to hearing maybe some of the different details that God has done in your life. I'd like to leave you tonight with two questions Um, and the questions for discussion this night would be, why is it important to trust that God is working everything out for our good? And number two is, what is your all things story? What has God worked out for good in your life? Thanks for joining us tonight, and we hope you guys have a great rest of your week.